Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing my skirt collection. So I have collected quite a few skirts over my time as a dancer and I'm going to show them to you today. I did a leotard collection a few weeks back and it's done really well so I'll link it up here if you want to go and watch that but I thought I'd do a skirt collection to follow that and I hope you're interested in seeing. My favourite skirts are actually bullet point, so I do have quite a few of those, which you'll be seeing in a bit, but I also have a few from Lucinda, some from Block, and also a few from Frida Silk, so I will show you which ones I have and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off with my Block ones. So this one is the one that I've had the longest. It's just a plain black skirt. Um, which I think everyone needs to have in their collection, especially as, as a training ballerina in a ballet school because you never know when you may need a black skirt. This is actually just a high-low skirt, which is just black chiffon, very simple with a black ribbon and I think it's really versatile and simple. I don't wear it very much nowadays because it is quite simple when I have a few more exciting ones that I reach for normally but this is one that I'm, I'll probably have in my collection for years. If I didn't already say I think it's block, the label has actually been cut out but I'm pretty sure it's block but from a long time ago so I don't know if they sell it anymore. I also have another plain black simple one from block pretty sure it's block um but this is also from a few years ago as well so even if it wasn't block I don't know if you'd be able to get hold of it but it's just a simple lace pull-on skirt and it's circular so there's a lot of material and it's really pretty when you turn because it's really like flippy and it has an elastic waistband just simple pull-on I like how there's a lot of material so it drapes really nicely and it is kind of high low it's a little bit longer at the back I then have this Grishko one which is quite a bold colourful print and I actually got this one on Depop so I don't know if you can still get your hands on this one but it's actually quite short which is fun for a change. It's a really nice light chiffon which has a really nice overlocked hem so it lays really nice and it's a really nice bold orange and pink floral as you can see and I really like that the waistband also is the same pattern. I then have this BU design skirt which is actually this girl called Chloe Horton who has a really nice Instagram, she makes skirts and it's quite a recent new little small business so it's really nice to support her and the colour of this is amazing, it's a super soft chiffon and it's super light and thin and in different lights it shows different colours so kind of has pink and gold running through so in different lights sometimes it looks pink, sometimes it looks gold and I just love her skirts. She has loads of really nice different materials and lots of different colours and I definitely want to get more because they're so pretty and you can choose what waistband you have with it so you can mix and match which I really think is really fun and I really like the idea of that. It's a nice long wrap around skirt so nice for those days where you want something a little bit longer and it's really comfy because the satin is just so soft. I then have this Frida Silk skirt, this is my only Frida Silk skirt and I'm really pleased with it so far. So it's actually a watercolour skirt and it's a bit longer, sorry you can't really see it in this light, um, but it's kind of a midi length, it kind of cuts just under the knee which you'll see in the cutaway, but it's this really pretty watercolour skirt which has pink and blue running through it. The waistband is quite narrow but it's elasticated so it's nice and comfortable and the skirt is actually circular so there's so much material so it's taking over me here um which means when you turn it's like super full and really dramatic also i think it's from the jess templeton collection with frida silks i then have a few lucinda skirts i have this black one which is also just chiffon really light chiffon and soft and it has a nice thick black ribbon waistband and it has really nice little sprigs of daisies throughout it which I really like it's just a nice difference to an average black skirt so something a bit more fun to wear but if you still want to wear black you still want the black there and I actually got this taken up by a tailor because I thought it was actually a bit long so I actually took this to a tailor and they cut it and um, they overlocked the bottom so it's a bit shorter than it was before which I actually really like. So this Lucinda skirt I actually did the same as the previous Lucinda skirt and got it taken up a bit because it was the same length and I wanted it to be a bit shorter but this is a really nice pretty duck egg blue and there's like floral bunches throughout. They're kind of like roses I think they're roses and they're really pretty pink 
pinks and deeper pinks and whites and yeah I think this is really pretty I love the colour of this one and the waistband matches really nicely which I think is really nice and the last Lucinda skirt I have is actually a, another longer rehearsal skirt style one and it's amazing I love this skirt I've also not had a chance to wear this so I'm really excited to wear this but it's a reversible skirt which I've never seen before so there's two colours that you can wear so first colour is this kind of lilac -y duck egg blue which matches the waistband waistband perfectly the waistband is actually a super thick elastic which is so soft so it's so comfortable whilst it's on because it's a lot thicker than what you usually get as a waistband so it's so soft and comfy and then the other side as you can see there's two different sides this is the jade colour and it's kind of a greeny turquoise and this skirt is the jade and ice blue skirt they do a few different colours in this reversible skirt which I'll definitely want to be getting my hands on but it's so soft I love it it's made so well Re a really weighted chiffon so it feels really heavy and lays really nice while it's on and I love that you can have two skirts in one so there's two different layers which I think is so nice also it means that when you're turning you can kind of see that the other color underneath if your skirt comes up a bit which I think is so nice that you get a different pop of color underneath and then you can swap it over to match what leotard you're wearing that day I just think it's so clever now the last skirts I have are actually my bullet point skirts and these are my favorite skirts I'm definitely trying to increase my collection I want to collect all the colors because I just think it's so fun and it's like having a sweet shop to pick from every morning because there's so many different colors and they match so well with loads of different leotards and I just know that the fit fits me really well. I always get an extra small because I like the length to be a little bit shorter. I know my, some of my friends like the small because it's a bit longer but I like them quite short. But yeah I have a big collection here of them and I'm definitely gonna carry on collecting until I stop dancing. <laughs> my favourite bullet point skirt is actually the white one. I wear this one basically every day. I always have this in my bag and I always just reach for it. It's such a classic. It goes with every colour and it stands out because it's white as well so so they call this one the white and I just love these. If you've never felt a bullet point skirt then I would definitely recommend you getting hold of one. They're so nice and thick. They're almost like a stretchy jersey and they have a nice sheen to them as well. This white one doesn't have a sheen but the bolder colours have a nice sheen to them which I'll show you in a minute. But they're really weighted so they lay really well when they're on. Just skim over you so nicely so I would definitely recommend the bullet point skirt. This next one I think might have been the first one I got and I think it's called the ballet pink. I'm pretty sure it's the ballet pink they're quite hard to pick out online because they do sometimes look a bit different in person than what they did online but I'm pretty sure this is the ballet pink and it's just a really nice baby pink colour I think this pink is really versatile as well because it goes with lots of different colours of leotard because it's really simple and classic I then have this kind of grey blue one which I'm pretty sure is called cloud but it's kind of got a bit more grey to it than I thought it's not as blue as I thought it would be but I still really love it and it's really nice and simple and again goes with lots of different colour leotards I then have this green which is called hunter it is a lot more green in real life on on camera it looks a bit more muted but it's a quite nice bold green and this I love wearing at Christmas time but also throughout the year because it's so nice and really different I then have this red and I'm pretty sure this is the cranberry they do have one that's red but I'm sure this is the cranberry sorry if that's not right but I'm pretty sure this is the cranberry this one's really nice and is really bold and I think everyone always needs a red skirt and then the last skirt I have to show you is this rose one which I think is really pretty it is a lot more purple than I thought I wouldn't really call this rose I would say this is more of a purple um but I still love it and it's it's different to the other colors I have so it's really nice to have something a bit more different so that is all of my leotards that is my leotard collection I hope you enjoyed watching this video and having a little bit of a snoop inside my wardrobe if you did then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video I'm pretty sure it will be a vlog of my first week back after my half term with rehearsals and hopefully the weather will be nice so maybe a bit of mooching around London but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week